the 20th season of NCIS is finally out. The show's been on air since 2003 and has miraculously maintained its popularity with viewers. Sure, fans have investigated various mysteries with these characters, but we've also been with them through their highs and lows. Fans have grown used to watching them week in and week out. The thought that they won't return makes us sad. Let's find out what Brian Deetson has to say about the end of the show. First up, Brian Deetson's thoughts on NCIS. Brian's views are pretty much exactly what we hoped for. He started out as a recurring guest star in NCIS as Dr. Jimmy Palmer, but from season 6 onwards, he became one of the stars of the show, which is exactly what we wanted. The now chief medical examiner was asked about the show's future and how he hoped to see the story end for Dr. Palmer. The actor's response was perfect. According to him, the show should end well after its 40th season when Jimmy retires from his job. The show's only halfway where he wants it to be. On a more serious note, the actor confessed that he really didn't know how this show would end. Brian was sure that if any member of the cast or writers were questioned, none of them would have the same answer. Nobody's focusing on how to end the show because they're having too much fun right now. The ratings are high and everything seems to be going just right for NCIS, so that makes sense. Brian thinks that's the right way to go. Everyone should concentrate on telling amazing stories. Hopefully, one of those arcs will lead them to an amazing ending. But if the show maintains its popularity, he knows the show won't be ending anytime soon. Moving on, the show continues after the star's exit. Mark Harmon, the lead of the show, plays special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. He's played the character since 2005 and left the show after 19 seasons in a surprising turn of events. While many fans hope that he'd make some kind of appearance in the show, it seems more and more unlikely we'll get to see him again. Mark's name was removed from the opening credits when the 20th season premiered on CBS. This move seemed to confirm that Gibbs would no longer be appearing in the upcoming episodes. While he had stopped appearing in the 19th season, Harmon's name continued to appear in the opening credits. So, fans hope that this season, things wouldn't be any different. Unfortunately, it seemed like the show will go on without the lead. Following up, could Harmon make a return? We think never say never. NCIS isn't the same without Gibbs being a part of the squad. When he told McGee that he wouldn't be returning to his job, we were crushed. So don't blame us for being hopeful. Harmon recently opened up about playing the character for the last 19 years. He explained that Gibbs has constantly evolved and the show has changed to keep everything fresh. This made the agent much more challenging to play. Seems like he's also okay with the storyline. He understands why Gibbs would want to stay in Alaska. And if Harmon's okay with it, who are we to complain? Things aren't all bad. Harmon's name still shows up in the credits as the executive producer on NCIS. Sean Murray, who plays Tim McGee, also informed fans that they still see Harmon on set. So he hasn't left it all behind. In fact, most fans will recall that Harmon exited the 19th season in the fourth episode. That same night, executive producer Stephen D. Binder took to Twitter and gave fans some hope by tweeting that we should never count Gibbs out. Also, there's some more good news. While Harmon seems okay with Gibbs' departure, the change doesn't have to be permanent. The president of CBS Entertainment clarified that the door is always open if Harmon wants to return. He would always be welcome back with open arms, whether with a small appearance or even a complete arc. Count us satisfied. Coming up, how does the cast feel about Harmon's departure? While Harmon will no longer be starring in the show, the rest of the cast has returned for the 20th season. While his character is no longer a part of the team, he has left behind some useful advice. For example, his famous Rule 15 states that they should always work as a team. NCIS stars Gary Cole and Katrina Law have recently become series regulars. As relative newbies, their characters are stumped by Gibbs' sudden departure from their lives. However, they recalled how one of their favorite episodes saw the team finally come together for the first time since he'd left. Fans who have stuck around will be glad to see the rest of them trying to follow Gibbs' advice. No wonder that moment was so memorable. As Harmon mentioned, Gibbs hasn't retired, so until the day he returns to NCIS, we can enjoy the show with the rest of the cast. Let's learn how the show brought the actors together. Brian had only excellent memories from his time on the show. And that makes sense, seeing that most of them have been working together since the very beginning. The 44-year-old gushed about the time he spent with Harmon. Turns out the lead had quite an impact on his life. And now that the actor has departed, things have become very different. Brian expressed how he was very thankful to have been given this opportunity and to work with Mark for so long. He felt he could genuinely call the other a friend. Sean Murray, who had worked with Harmon on the series Hearts of the West, considered Harmon a mentor, and he's not the only one. Cote de Pablo, who plays special agent Ziva David, feels the same way. She thought of Harmon as a friend and father figure. Even though they may not speak regularly, she felt there was a deep bond between her and the star. Harmon's presence on set has had an impact, no doubt about it. And while the co-stars have said goodbye to their longtime friends, we can always hope they'll stay in touch. Coming up, Mark supported Brian when he needed it the most. Turns out, in his early days playing Dr. Jimmy, Brian dislocated his shoulder. It was as painful as it sounds, but the newcomer decided to keep this bit of information to himself. He didn't want to stall filming or whine about 
but not being able to do what was required. With a stiff upper lip, Brian braved the injury and tried to avoid making a fuss. Instead of asking for time off, he continued working with the shoulder popping out once in a while. Yikes, talk about being dedicated to your job. Not that we blame Brian, it was just the second season and he was only a recurring guest star then. He was probably worried about his job. We get it. Anyway, nobody on set was aware of his injury, including Mark. He went ahead and put a 40-pound sandbag in Brian's examiner kit. Well, he picked up that kit and ended up in a lot of pain. Somehow, he made it through the take, after which he finally told Mark exactly what was wrong with him. Harmon was horrified. He couldn't believe he had hurt his co-star. Brian described that he found his reaction to be very sweet, but Harmon has a knack for being sweet and friendly. According to Dietzen, some days the cast could end up working almost 14 to 18 hours a day. To deal with such long hours, they need to ensure that things are light. They couldn't take things too seriously and had to smile and laugh. Harmon carried on that way until his very last season. Finally, other wholesome stories from the set. 19 years is a very long time. The cast has helped one another out through tough times that we're only just learning about. One of the stars of the show, Dwayne Henry, wasn't doing too well when he was cast in the show. Around that time, he had been couch surfing. In fact, he had been homeless the entire time he'd been in the U.S. after moving there from the U.K. Co-star and fan favorite Polly Perrette heard about it and immediately tried to help him. She told him that there was plenty of space in her house for him and he could live there until he could afford his own place. Dwayne was happy to move into her house and as soon as he got his NCIS paycheck, he could afford to move out. Finally, he was living in a place he owned. Polly's help didn't stop there. She would regularly remind him that things were changing and he was now working on the biggest show on TV. Doesn't that just warm your heart? That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about how NCIS will end? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.